Bingo, right on the nose, one o'clock. Perfect, here I am. It's Chad from the Electric Academy here, guys. I got another listener request. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, here's my listener request. Well, actually, let's get a few things out of the way. Yesterday, I put up a video about me stripping wire, and I did some uh, splice and whatnot, and that actually did pretty good. I was quite surprised that a lot of you guys watched that. So I want to know, do you guys want to see more little demos like that? Do you want to see, I mean, I've got pipe benders and stuff like that. I could be bending pipe, that sort of thing. If you want that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, up top on this Facebook page, again, I cannot stress enough the free PDF of online resources for electricians. Check that bad boy out. Shoot me an email and I'll shoot it right on over to you. Now, getting down to business today. First, well, not even, I keep saying first. Let's talk about this. I keep getting requests, so I just keep filtering through and going through this. It's been awesome. So please send me. If you have anything that you want me to talk about, let me know because I really do enjoy doing this. One guy said I should be working at Home Depot putting on the little demos on Saturday morning. I know he was taking a jab at me. And then another guy kind of came to my defense, Chris, and said, this guy's passionate about what he does. Well, that's an understatement. I absolutely love this stuff. So if you have a question at all that you'd like me to address, let me know. I'm no expert on everything, but I will do some digging into it. And I do know a lot about the electrical theory because I teach it as well as I'm out in the field all the time. Now, here's a good one. Today... As some of you guys might have seen the video a couple minutes before, or a couple minutes, a couple hours before, I got a trouble call. Now, here's the situation. I don't know if I got it figured out yet, but these people claim that they were at night. There's a mom who lives down in the basement suite, and then the daughter and the, and the son-in-law live upstairs. And they have a plug-in portable air conditioner that they put plug in into their bathroom. Okay? Now, what happens is when they turn on this, um, turn on this guy this portable air conditioner, the lights downstairs, when she goes to turn them off, will stay on. And I went and I looked at the switch. The switch is fine. None of this stuff happened while I was there. And then same thing, she said she was lying in her bed down in the basement, and all of a sudden the fan would just kick on and just start spinning like crazy. So I'm wondering if you guys have experienced anything like that. I'm guessing there's some sort of surge happening from the air conditioning unit, but I'm not 100% sure. I asked them to give me a shout if when it happens, again, not to touch anything, and I'll come down and take a look. But again, I'm thinking it's that portable air conditioner. I can't, couldn't find anything wrong with anything that wasn't happening while I was there. So there you go. Let me know. All right, you guys, here's today's topic. What do you do with a coworker you dislike and you have to work with them? So this, I'm not going to tell you who it's from because maybe these two people are listening in at the same time. But I think it's a great question because we have all been there, haven't we? We've all worked with somebody we can't stand. That person that you walk in and you just get that knot in your stomach and you don't want to even work with them or even look at them and it just makes your day drag on. So I got this last night and I was not too busy. I had nothing else on the go. I was watching Peaky Blinders on Netflix. Awesome show. And I thought I'd do some research on this. So here's what I came up with. I actually did some homework on this one, everybody. See, I got a little, I got this little sheet here, little guide for you guys on what to do when you have a co coworker you dislike. Number one. As a human, you have a tendency to like people that are like you. So maybe this person's just so much unlike you that there's something in you that can't stand them for that reason alone, that they're very, very different than you. So what they suggest you do is try to look for similarities. Try to find something that you guys, some common ground that you guys can work with. And I know that this is just one tip. It's not the only tip and it's not the only way. I know sometimes there's just going to be guys out there that are absolute douchebags. And I'm going to tell you a little story of... Uh, Something that I am sort of proud of, but I would not recommend doing at the end of all this. So try to find some common ground. Get to know the person a little bit. All right, so that's number one. Number two, maybe it's you. Yeah, I said it. Maybe it's you and not so much them. Maybe there's like someone that you can't, like somebody that's hurt you in the past or somebody that you can't stand. And there's something that reminds you of them that just gets to you. So what you need to do is you've got to figure out what is it about that person you don't like. Instead of just saying, well, I don't like them, try to drill down and figure out what is it about that person that I don't like and then go off of that. Because you might find that there's the reason that you don't like them is maybe they remind you of a, you know, your brother who used to beat you up all the time or your dad or whoever. There's something about them that brings you to that. And once you come into that mindset, then things are pretty good because then you can understand where it's coming from and you can do something about it. And that's what I find is trying to just be aware of where you're at with things and why you're feeling what you're feeling. I know it sounds a little woo-woo for us trade people, but let's keep that in mind. So it's not you. Maybe it's it's not them. Maybe it's you. And 
I mean, maybe you guys just have those personalities that kind of clash. So at that point, maybe you just have to agree to disagree on things and try to just stay out of each other's way. Number three, do not take their behavior personally. This is a huge one. Maybe they're having a bad day, bad week, bad hour, bad year, bad life, and they're just taking it out on you. It's not all personal. It just might be the way they are. And once you realize that, that it's not, don't take it personally, again, you can totally change your mindset on that. Am I right? So do not take their behavior personally. It just could be that they're working some stuff out and they don't know how to realize or they don't even realize they're acting that way. And sometimes it really depends on the person, but maybe you can talk to them. If they're somewhat approachable, you can, you can go up to them and ask, hey, what's going on, man? I, I don't understand why you're acting like this. So that's something to think about. Uh, here's a huge one. Number four, manage your reaction. Now, here's the thing. You can't control the way that they're going to act. There's nothing you can do to change the way that they're going to act. They're going to be who they can, they're going to be. But you are, can totally are 100% in control of what you can, how you react to them. So you're in some control in this situation. That goes back to the whole, it might be you. You can react the way you're going to react. You can get in their face and you can say things like, whatever, I get it. Get out of me, get out of the way, whatever. But you just can't react. That's on you. So you've got to, it's, your reaction is you. Their reaction is them. And the only control you have over that is yourself. Cool. And then number five, the best way to do this, to deal with like the top four there is to just adopt the I don't care attitude or commonly called the I don't give a shit attitude. Just realize if you realize that it's not personal, if you realize that it might have something to do with you or that they're going through their own stuff, maybe uh, just adopting a I don't care attitude. I know it sounds way easier said than done. I get that because sometimes they're just great on you. So there's that. All right, so what do we learn here? Let me just go through my list here of what we learned. What you want to do is you want to manage your own reaction and behavior first. All right, you can only control you. You might want to practice the old I don't care attitude or they call it practice emotional detachment so the person's behavior doesn't bother you and you do want to spend time trying to get to know the person because you know what, maybe you're going to better understand what motivates them. What you don't want to do is assume that that's all the other person is, is just an a-hole or a douchebag and that it's all on them. Again, you might play some into this as well, right? And they might be going through some stuff, so maybe have a little bit of empathy with that. Uh, here's a big one. Don't commiserate with others because, and what I mean by commiserate is just don't get talking down about somebody to other people. That drives me crazy when I'm on a site and I just walk away from those discussions because honestly, they're not worth having. And it just makes you look like an idiot because you're sitting there trying to run somebody down and trying to gain support for that. Number three, here's a big one. Try not to get in their face about it. If they're somewhat approachable, talk to them. But most of the time, people like that are not approachable. So it's just one of those, have that attitude that you don't care. Because honestly, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do for them anyways. They got to do it all on their own. And getting in their face is only going to cause a fight. So hopefully that helps you out a bit. Uh, here's a little story about what I did with a guy that I worked with. Worked for a fairly decent sized company. There was like 25 guys. And we would all meet in the morning. We worked service. So we would all meet at the shop and talk. And there's this one guy who was kind of a foreman on the construction side of it all. He was a real jerk. People are, um, people did not like this guy and he was a bit of a bully to people. So what, um, what I did was back before the internet was a huge thing, they had this thing called the buy and sell. And it was just, I've, some of you guys have seen this. It's just like a, it's a newspaper of classified ads. And this guy was constantly on the buy and sell, always looking for new trucks and that sort of stuff. So what I did was I put an ad in the buy and sell saying that he was selling his truck. He loved his truck. And I said that he was selling his truck and uh, to give him a call. And I put it at a dirt cheap price. Like there was no way he wasn't going to get phone calls. Not too cheap where it was a joke, but cheap enough that, you know, this might be legit. And then I said that he was working night shifts so that the best time to call him was between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Yeah, he got a lot of phone calls. He came into the next morning just raging about that. So I never fessed up that that was me and I'm not going to fess up to that person right now because they will kill me but that's not how to handle it do not play pranks maybe I'll do a show on pranks because uh, there's a guy Rob Kemp that pranked me a few times when I was working up in the oil sands in Fort McMurray and so I've got lots of funny stories to tell about him and I and our pranking together anyhow that's it for today so that's 
what I would do, like I said, I've written up this little guide. I did a lot of research last night and so wrote up this guide. If you want a copy of the guide, just let me know. Send me a private message. I'll send it your way. Let's keep these videos going. Keep sharing these things. It's getting out there, which is great. Can you give me some likes, some comments? What do you guys do? Somebody mentioned that they like to go to the gym after work just to work off the steam. That's a great idea because honestly, at the end of the day, you don't want to be taking out the crap that they put you through on somebody else. The best way to do that is to work that stuff through, right? Um, let me know. How are you guys dealing with this stuff? What are you guys doing? This is just the stuff that I've kind of dealt with on my own and kind of did some research on. What are you guys doing to deal with people that you don't like to work with? And I know some of you are going to say, oh, you know, get off the site or kick them off or get them fired, whatever. I want to hear some real legit answers. Cool? All right. Got another one in the can for tomorrow. It's a gooder as well. Let's keep this going. Again, check out the website. It's right there, www.theelectricacademy.com. There's where all my video tutorials go. And give this page a like, if you will, and check out that online resource. It's awesome. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you're working safe out there. Oh, and if you guys... Thanks, Wesley. I really appreciate that, man. I'm trying. Let me know what you think about that AC unit. Could an AC unit surge and cause some issues? Everything, here's the thing I didn't mention. Everything that was happening, like the fan spinning and the lights blinking off and on, they're all on the same circuit as the AC unit. So I'm thinking it's got to be in that AC unit. I, I rang it out and everything, and everything seemed fine, but I'm thinking there's some sort of surge happening. Anyways, love your input on that. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Keep working safe. If I figure out anything on this thing, I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Work safe, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.